Hello and welcome back to Greedfall. This is part 14. We are going to find the missing scholars expedition from the Bridge Alliance who are investigating the plants and things on the island to find a cure for the Malachors. We're going to go and find them. That's on our way to Hikmet and then we have a bunch of other stuff that we're going to do when we get there, such as looking for Vasco's brother and just, yeah, whatever random stuff we get up to. So let's go. So here we are in a new area. Haven't been here before. This valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. Wow. It's actually amazing looking. Oh, look at the huge waterfall over there. Oh, I wonder if we get to go up to the top of the waterfall or something. That would be cool. That would be so cool. I really like this place. There's loads of really nice trees and nice scenery. Give me those mushrooms. Give me those mushrooms, please. And I see a campsite over there. So let's just see where we're going. Let's just explore this way before we go straight on. Because it says there's the point of interest. And now, after last episode, I'm on the hunt for finding more skill altars. Because... I don't want to miss any more of those. Um, I see something up there. I don't know. It looks like it's asleep. Are you asleep? Are you asleep? Aww. I think they're asleep. They're so cute. Oh, <gasps> stealth attack. That's new. I don't remember ever stealth attacking anything before. Oh, but look how sweet they are. It's got like this little bear face. I wonder if they wake up if I just... Oh, look at his little face. He's <laughs> so cute. Oh, I want to pet him. I wish there was an option to stealth pet. What about you? You're the big one. Okay, don't stand on his toes. Don't stand on his toes. Look how cute they are. That is so cool. Well, I'm not going to attack them because they're just too bloody cute. And they're all asleep. Well, this area is actually pretty big. Anyway, let's set up the campsites because that's something I need to tick off as a side mission to start um, setting up campsites in each area that we're in. Yeah, I'm kind of just doing a bit more exploring because you never know what you might find. I'd love to find more of Seraphedon's notes. Okay, I see some sort of construction over there, so... Could be a camp of some sort. Okay, this looks like... Pile of wagons or pile of carts. And a dead merchant. Okay, so I don't know if this is just a separate merchant that got attacked or is this anything to do with the bridge alliance? I think it's a separate thing. Wow, there's so many of these animals. Oh, it looks like they actually had like a permanent kind of stall here. Is this like um, a logging camp or something? Or are they building something? I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Why aren't you guys asleep? Oops, oh, ah. Whoa. Oops. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Okay, again, just warming up, warming up. Yeah, no. Where are they going? Is there another one? Oh shit. Uh... Let's see if you can ward off this fight. There we go. Another body down here. Okay, let's go see. Yeah, see, because there's timber construction over there, so I'm wondering if it's kind of a mine or something, or I don't know. Yeah, there's loads of trees cut down, so maybe this is more of a logging camp. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Okay, well, we'll set up a camp here. Tick this off. Two out of five. Yeah. And... Can we get up there, I wonder? Oh, we can. There's a ladder. Okay, let's go. chest. Use key. Did I find a key? No, I didn't. Ooh, so there should be a key somewhere. Um, I don't have Kurt with me, so I don't think I have anything that gives me plus one to lockpicking. But let me just... Let me have a look. Oh, Vasco's thing does. Vasco's thing has plus one to lockpick. Okay, can I take this? for now and then I should be able to pick this lock yes okay ooh nice 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 okay we've got really nice boots a helmet and <gasps> is this a two-handed sword long blades agility three long blades cool oh my god so is this a one-handed weapon then? Yeah, that looks like a two-handed sword. So that would be amazing for Kurt. Yeah, I'm going to give that to Kurt, I'd say. And then he might as well take the helmet as well. He might as well take that whole outfit, actually. I kind of prefer him with the two-handed stuff anyway. Like, he has a mace at the moment, but um, he started off with a two-handed sword and I think it's more his style. So I'm happy that I found a cool sword for Kurt. Okay, so let's continue down here. And there's this area back here as well. Okay, we'll continue this way for now. Wait, this looks like a dead end. <gasps> Is that a person? Oh no. What happened to you? He's just here on his own. Did he fall from up there? Or did he get killed? I don't know. He looks like he was stabbed. So this is a dead end. Okay, so I think um, the expedition is in this direction somewhere. Okay, we're finding lots of loot. I think I have plenty of ammo and stuff for now anyway. I should probably heal myself actually. So we need to find... Oh, okay. So we've got these bull creatures. I don't know how I stabbed him from so far away. Ow. I like stabbed him from a mile away. <laughs> that was cool. I don't know how I did that. I just want to see what's up here. What is this? 
What is this? What is this? What is this? It looks like a statue. A winged statue. Professor Seraphedon's work notes. The natives have told us about a giant creature who reigned over the heights. A flying creature, maybe? And the statue we have found could be a depiction of it. It is a large winged beast. It seems agile and capable of flying, but its body seems fragile and unprotected. Of course, it is only a depiction and we will we'll have to see one ourselves to confirm these observations. Oh. Nadog Manaiman or Manaiman. Okay. So there's a winged boss creature at some point. I wonder where he lives. Do you think it's just right here? Do you think it's over here? Heal myself, just in case we start a fight. <laughs> uh, I see small beastie beasties down here. I guess there's only way of finding out. He's a big bull. He's got a lot of armor. Ooh. Oh my god, that kind of looked like... That kind of looked like I knocked over Vasco, but I didn't. There we go. Okay, that was that was such a random place to find a statue, by the way. Like, that statue was just half buried in the ground in the middle of nowhere. Like, how did it get there? Did someone bring it there? Did it, I don't know, did it fall down from a height? Did someone create it and put it up there for a reason. Like, do you think that statue fell from up there? That could make sense if the statue was up there and fell down. How will I find a winged creature though? Because I'm pretty sure I can't shoot up and I can't I'd have to wait for it to land and stuff. That'll be interesting. That'll be an interesting fight. Okay, so I need to go... Oh, I see a wagon or a cart, I should say. Oh, and tents. Over there. Tents. Is there anybody this here? This must be the expedition's camp. It's not looking very good condition. Let's have a closer look. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents and the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems that they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. Unless they were attacked by a flying creature who ate them all. Okay, examine. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they're wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Donegada. One of the valley clans was here. Okay. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They are not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. Okay, so it is one of the native clans that attacked them then. This looks according like to scientific Sura. equipment. This must be the lost expedition's campsite. Scientific equipment. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Note from the leader of the expedition. This globular root has a dense and firm texture. The smell that emerges from it is strong and vigorous. I have observed several animals consuming it without any noticeable effect. Hence it is likely to be edible. A distillation in laboratory should be more conclusive. 
Afra has decided to move her tent further away. She says that our constant crackling, our constant cackling prevents her from focusing. This young woman is talented, but I understand why her master dismissed her. She has a bad temper. This species of bird is heavily represented in the valley. They have proven to be incredibly curious. They come so close to us that we could touch them. The natives must not hunt them, otherwise they'd be more prudent. And yet their flesh is exquisite. It must be related to their beliefs. This naive people may consider them to be sacred. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. Hmm. So they made a camp here and then they got attacked. Some of them, or all of them, are either taken prisoner or or else their bodies got eaten by beasts. What's this thing? A big chain with... What is that? What is that supposed to be? Is that for capturing a beast or something? Chaining a beast, maybe? go over this way. Oh, here's something we missed. Blood. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. Okay, following the blood. Following the blood. I don't see any blood. <laughs> Is it this way? Oh yeah, more blood. Okay, here's some blood. More blood. We are on the right path. Keep going. Okay. I'm not here. You don't see me. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Here we go. Looks like s someone impaled by a spear. Oh, yeah. Bridge lines person. A corpse. The clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he has been dead for days. As we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. He was only a scholar, a sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think? All the clans hide dead children. I have heard stories from the natives describing bridger atrocities. If they are true, this violent attack, though tragic, would be justified. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. Yeah, that's the thing about Bridge Alliance, is that we've heard that they steal and kidnap native people with the mark on their face. And so we don't really know much about that, but it's not good. Travel chest key. Hmm. So he's got a key for... I didn't find a chest yet, though. Oh! <laughs> Probably where all these baddies are. Level 14, oh yeah! Woo, 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 woo. Level up time. Just loot all these bodies. Okay. Let's level up here. So we got a skill point. We can put that into. What's this? Fury Gen. Increase the fear generated by counterattacks. Uh, or we can do. Proficiency in long blades. Or we could do rifle. Or we could do traps. Allows the recovery of ingredients near the location of explosion of set trap and file throw. That could be cool for getting back some. 
ingredients from our traps. Um, I think I'll up my fury regen again for now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we are going... Where are we going? This way? This way? Here is the oh. isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer here. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. It's like being in a crow's nest. The view we have over the valley is an ideal observation point. It is a nice view. It's a nice view. Hmm. Here's the chest I have the key for. Diary of a certain Afra. Okay. We set up a small camp in the hollow of the valley we wish to study. The flora in this place is incredibly luxuriant. This island is the only place where so many different species can be found next to one another. With so many varieties, we're bound to find an antidote to the Malachor. This plant with its blue effer effler <laughs> This plant with its blue efflorescence and jagged leaves is unlike any plant I have knowledge of. I will have to lead some experiments to determine if it contains active essences. It is a shame that we cannot exchange with the natives. They must know the properties of all these plants. But the soldiers warned us. They told us that we shouldn't trust the islanders. Apparently they're very aggressive in this region. Our, our arrival in the valley did not go unnoticed. I feel as if we're being observed, most likely by the islanders. I hope that they understand that we are not here to fight, but merely to catalogue the flora. The impression of being observed is becoming increasingly ominous. They are very close, I can feel it. I'm afraid we should expect an attack. We have so few weapons that my colleagues are barely capable of defending themselves. I am certain that we are being observed from the swamp. If they attack us, this is where they will most likely come from. I have tried to warn my companions to tell them to be more discreet, but they refuse to listen. Ooh, this is a swamp. It is a journal. That of a woman from the expedition. A certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops in mid-sentence. Let's hope she's still alive, as well as her colleagues, or our mission will be a short one. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will surely lead us to the party of intrepid scholars. This woman was right to fear the Donea Exregal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. To the swamp. To the swamp. I wonder if in the swamp there's going to be a giant winged beast that wants to eat us. That's all I can think about now. It's the giant winged creature. Okay, so how do we get there? Oh yes, up this way. Okay, cool. Okay, we should be getting close to the swamp now. Should be somewhere close in this direction. Aha, that looks like a swamp to me. Ooh, guess we're not going back up that way. <laughs> Look, those are islanders. They might be from the clan that attacked the Bridger camp. That's possible. They look like trackers. But what are they tracking? New prey, no doubt. Let's get closer. I could barely see that. Should we be sneaking or talking? I don't know if I should be sneaking up on them or should I be talking with them? Spy! Cool! <laughs> Esrade da Orhel, I'm a dread quahe luchpom. New sien dad, ne sooner dead. Smion zemna fravin dead? Eskel geleon, sagna es loya dad, de moxhas. Quel sheded, al bul rade de degude edunaset. Tranegu es sensini. Vrigamis sinis radeia. Toik! 
Arimu Nes Haha. Okay, Sira, do you want to translate that? Are they still there? Where are they? It said it came up with an X like I failed to to do it. Where are they? Where are they? I can't see them. Are they gone? <gasps> Unexpected cutscene. A bottle. Oh, hello. I'm not here to kill you. Tell me then, what is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. After this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? We were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He is worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? De Sarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm, the new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face? I've heard stories about you. And them? Captain Vasco. Though I realize I am quite far from the sea. I am Siora, daughter of Bladnid. From the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. Yeah, let's ask about the attack. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars' shouts, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee. But well, they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. Okay. What have you done since? What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So oh I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without okay. any success so So she far. wants to rescue them. That makes sense. Ask about your research. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants, and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are, oh, so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. Good. All right. Okay. Cool. The swamp is actually pretty nice. It's, I mean... Of all the swamps I've been in, in different games and stuff, this is quite a nice swamp. I'm just saying, just going to point that out before we go. Okay. All right, Afra, let's go. 
how are we going to get back up the cliff that we jumped down to get here, though? Maybe she's going to whip out a climbing rope grappling hook. Hmm. How are we getting up there, huh? Huh? Or are we going a different way? I don't know. Oh, I guess we're we're going a different way. Hang on. Let me see. Let me see. Can I see? Oh, yeah, this is a different way. Okay. So I wonder if we're going to be able to talk to these natives or are they going to be non-negotiable? Are they just going to want to fight straight away? Oh, great. We're going into a cave. Can I turn my lantern on? Why is it so dark in here? I can barely see anything. Oh, is she coming? Come on. Oh, why can't I climb up there? Did I... Did I miss something? Oh. Hang on, there's something back here in the cave. Or... Oh no, she was just... What are you doing? Following NPCs is always so fun. Oh, please don't get stuck at a rock, Afro Jesus. Please. Okay. Almost there. Are we almost there? <gasps> Look at that cool tower over there. Hmm. And a campsite. We can... Maybe set that up just so that we can tick off another campsite in this area. This is where the natives took your colleagues. Okay. Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. Hmm. I would rather avoid unwarranted deaths. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. Indeed, it would be wiser than trying to get in through the gate. Okay. Okay, so does this mean I'm going to have three companions with me? Okay, so she wants to wait till nightfall, so let's do that. Wait till nighttime, go investigate the camp. And I don't know if they're all coming with me at this point. Yeah, they are. And she looks like she has a thing to talk to me, but I can't seem to interact with her. So we'll just keep going. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting. Ugh. Poison on my blade. I spoke go. too soon. Watch out. Grenade. grenade? Oh my God, does she throw grenades? That's so cool. She throws grenades. I want to learn how to do that. I feel like I should be able to do stuff like grenades as well because I do science. I, I do science, you know? When science is a thing I do. Alrighty. So I have three. Oops. I have three companions with me for a change. That's weird. And... Yeah, so anyway, I spoke too soon there. Because I was going to say I don't want to fight some random werewolves or beasts or whatever. Yeah, I wonder if I can learn how to throw grenades too. Can we go in here? I fled as they were about to lock my companions inside a cell. 
We're going to need a key. Please, on all Manawi. Let's try to avoid a fight. Okay. Um can I can I sneak in here? I can't do that. Damn. Damn. And she said we need a key. Hmm. And Siora wants to avoid a fight. I don't know how that's going to go because. Can I go up here now? Impossible to climb. But that could be a way out. That could be a way out. Okay, so it looks like we have to go back around this side. Oh, we could take a potion of haze though. That's a stealth potion. So once we get in there, I could take a stealth potion. Wait, do you see? Okay, scary music is starting. So there must be... I don't see anyone. Oh, I see. Okay, I do see someone over there. That is a really weird noise. Whatever creature is making that noise. Scary noise. Okay, okay, okay. So if I... Try and find the way in first. It's so hard to see at night time. I don't think I see any person yet. Okay, this looks like the way in. And I'm going to need to take a stealth potion, I'd say now. But they're looking right up this way. They're looking up this way. Okay, maybe... Let's go around the other side before we try and go in this way. There could be another secret way in somewhere else. Let's just keep following the wall and hope that we might find a way that we can get in. Because if we walk through that main entrance, we're 100% going to be fighting. I feel like if I go any further around, though, I'm going to be too far away. Oh, I think it's just a rock. No. Am I seeing... Is that just a rock or am I seeing... I'm seeing giant winged creatures everywhere now in my head. Is that just a rock? Yeah, okay, it's just a rock. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to find another way in. Hang on, okay. There's a chest. What's in here? Good coins. Okay, just stuff. Just some stuff. Here we go. Can I go? What happens if I go up here though? Is this going anywhere near the camp? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. This this is our back way in. Okay, so we need to still watch out for sentries and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we really are right on top of them, aren't we? Okay. Oh my god. This is like, this is like the chimney into fucking someone's house. Oh my god. I don't see anyone yet. I think I'm going to take a stealth potion. Um. Oh, I only have one. I've only got one and I don't know how long it's going to last, so I might save it until I actually see people that I need to sneak past. So I don't want to waste it. I 
it's so dark. I don't see anyone yet. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I don't see anyone. It's so, it's like pitch black. It's so hard to see. Oh, this could be a good hiding place. I really am totally blind. I cannot see a thing. Can't see a thing. Ooh, can I go in here? No. Okay, I think I see someone with a lantern over there. Oh, there's someone. Oh shit, are they looking this way? Are they looking over here? Okay, okay, I'm gonna wait until she moves away. She's going in there. Where is she going? <gasps> shh, shh. Oh shit. Oh shit, now it's daytime. Okay, we're gonna hurry up and try and sneak in here. Oh no, I'm stuck on a tree. Oh no, this isn't... Fuck. I thought this was a way... Oh my god. Where'd she go? Oh god, we are so gonna get fucking spotted. <gasps> Jesus, oh Jesus. <laughs> oh please don't. I mean, I fucking, we were looking for an entrance for so long. <gasps> oh shit, okay, let's go. We were looking for an entrance for so long that it actually turned into daytime, which is really bad. Don't see anyone else so far. Oh my god, this is so scary. Okay. I think it might be a good time to take that stealth potion, do you think? It might be a good time to take the, the stealth potion. I'm going to do it. I only have one, but I'm going to do it because I think we're getting pretty close to where we need to be. I have no idea how long this stealth potion will last, though. Is this where we're going? Up here. Shit, maybe I should have saved it. see anyone. I don't see anyone. Uh, I'm really usually really bad at stealth in games. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Okay, there's a guy right there. Okay, okay. Um I think we need to gonna we're gonna need to Where is he? Okay, we're gonna run in here. <gasps> Shit, oh my god, he's right there. Oh no. Where is he? Okay, he's in there. Oh how did he not see me? I walked right past him. How did he not see me?
Okay, and the haze potion is worn off now, so I definitely wasted it. I should have saved. I should have waited. Oh well. Okay. Any more? Any more people? So it's in there, and I think the other guy is guarding it from the other side, so it looks like... Ooh, key to the cell. Okay. That's good. Good that they just leave it lying around in a chest for us to find. This is it, but I think this is where... That one guy was walking in and out. I um, don't know where he is. And we need to go... Oh, I really don't like not being able to see where he is, though. Okay, he's there. Okay, so we'll wait until he goes and then we'll try and get in there. I think that's the entrance. Okay, off you go, off you go. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. All right, looks like down here. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. There still could be people down here, though, in the dungeon. Okay, doesn't look like there's anyone in here so far. Yay! Okay, we did it. Use key. Oh, Afra, is that you? Come quickly. We don't have much time. Thank you for your help. Do not thank me yet. We are still in a shipload of danger. Shipload? A shipload? It's not how I would phrase it, but okay. Oh, jeez. NPC escort missions. My favourite type of mission. Right. This is probably going to be very difficult because if we get spotted these guys cannot defend themselves so we're going to have to be really, really careful. However, we do know... <gasps> okay, go back down, go back down, go back down. We do kind of know a safe way out though, don't we? Is he there? He's gone. Okay, he's gone. Oh, okay, he's there. Um, yeah, I want to go back. Oh my god, he's right there. <laughs> he's right there. Is he? And all of the people are sneaking around. Okay, it's good that he can't see them though. Okay, let's go. Right, so I think there's um our escape route is down this way. We'll climb up here and see then if we can jump down. There's a cliff that we could jump down, I think. Okay, doesn't look like there's anybody up here. <gasps> okay, that gave me a fright. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Yeah, I think we're safe now. I don't think there's going to be any more. Now, we must find a way to get out of this valley without putting my companions in danger. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I've already scouted the escape route. Here we go. Should be good now. Yeah, we did it. Hey, we did it. Woohoo. Although, I don't know how that guy didn't see me when I walked straight in front of him. 
Because I think the haze, po haze potion had worn off by then. So anyway, we made it out and I think we have to go back to that campsite. Okay, so now we just have to avoid getting in fights with beasts. Which shouldn't be a problem because I think we cleared out this area before we came up here, so. Where am I going? This way? Wait, are they sleeping creatures? Oh, they are. They're sleeping. Okay. Well. The sleeping ones seem to stay asleep. When I've been sneaking around them before, so we we'll, should hopefully be able to just get through here without waking them up. And we should be golden. We should be good. Oh, is that one? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> be pretty funny if we were just sneaky and then we just stood on one of their heads okay I think we did it is it is this where we're going yes I think we did it I think we did it yeah I think we're safe now <gasps> no no my blade Oh no! Damn! We weren't supposed to fight them. And they were just ambushing us. Oh shit. Trakarid, mercy! You have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. Spare their lives, I beg you. They were only fighting to save the lives of those that have disappeared. Yeah, I agree. Spare them. Very well. Leave, and I hope you keep your word. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I have spoken and I will honor my words, Kwa Awalam Seg. Okay. Phew. Plus one reputation with Siora and the natives. Okay. I'm surprised I didn't lose lose reputation with the bridge lines actually there. Um Okay. Here's the campsite. Here you go, we did it. We are no longer in danger. Oh. Phew. Thank you for your help, Dasade. I must admit, the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless. Your research to find a remedy against the Malachor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true woman of science. Cut to the point. Then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burham immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Oh, okay. Okay, we're just insta fast traveling back to Hikmet. All right, let's do it. So they made a discovery. <laughs> this is getting interesting Lady now. Lady Desade and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Your Excellency. You are a providential woman. Thanks. <laughs> Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her Tierna Hack Cadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. Hmm. How's that? Liamatra did nice yacht them? Huh. Well, I grasped the basic of the local tongue and I am certain to have heard the word yag, remedy. Surprising. But the Tiernahach is very powerful and very wise. 
It is possible that she did craft such a remedy. Okay. So I think I need to take Afra with me. Okay. Plus two reputation for the bridge alliance. All right. Okay. I need to talk to him. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe this honor? Oh, this is talking about Ullen, right? The alliance with Ullen. The, the peaceful tribe who wants to trade. I met Ulan. Ulan. The bone blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning Ooh. the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, member of the Ulan clan, oh, yeah. is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful. If the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. Yay! I thank you. I hope to see you again. Okay, that's good. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Nice one. All right. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for this episode and next time we'll pick things back up here in Hikmet and maybe we'll travel to San Mateus because um, we have some business there and maybe we'll find out more about this mystery cure that this woman seems to have. Uh, yeah, so this episode we helped the Bridge Alliance, we found their missing expedition and we bust them out of jail from this camp that the natives had um, been keeping them in. So that was a stealth mission that was actually went pretty well. I usually am terrible at stealth missions, but that one went pretty well. Uh, and then we found some really cute sleeping beasts out in the wild. And all we had to do was sneak past them. So that was pretty easy, actually. And oh, yes. And we found the statue of the winged creature. More of Sarah Fedden's notes about this flying beast. So I don't know when or where that beast is going to come up but I'm excited to see that uh, maybe he'll just swoop down out of the sky and carry us off to his nest at some point anyway we'll find out so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time